all the crucible footage here of me using the hard light is actually reused from an older video I have, so you can ignore all on screen text for the crucible footage. I reused it because it's a great example of uh, what, the, what the weapon is like in the crucible. Alright, what's up, guys? This week I decided that I would review the exotic auto rifle hard light. This weapon comes with some abilities like. The bottom half of each magazine uh, does additional damage. It sounds cool, it's really not that great. You get modifiers like extremely low recoil, maximum ammo capacity, and then you get uh, this weapon can be drawn incredibly fast. Honestly, the only one of these that it's worth using is the extremely low recoil because without that and the extremely low recoil ballistic makes this weapon nearly unusable past melee range. But with those abilities on, it's quite comparable to the Shinjin C or the Shinjin E, which are both pretty damn good assault rifles. And it's unfortunate that there are no weapons above rare that are really comparable to them other than this gun. The exotic ability of this gun allows it to shoot through targets and ricochet off hard surfaces. Honestly, though, useless. This ability has never helped me once. I've never even really noticed it other than the ricocheting bullets, which really is just never going to come in handy. So I'm going to have to give this gun a 7.5 out of 10. It can be good within the range of about 15 feet, and it will melt faces, but past that, have fun getting headshots. You're going to get outgunned by Shadow Price, Vanquisher, Soros Regime, and just about any scout rifle or hand cannon. Another thing that's really good about this weapon is that its reload speed is outstanding. It's going to reload nearly instantly. It's probably one of the fastest reloads I've seen on a weapon that didn't have a modifier that increased it itself. This gun isn't bad in the Crucible or the PvE activities by any means. It's just not great. It's not going to really shine unless you're in skirmish on really small maps where there's just not a lot of elbow room. But try it out. Let me know what you guys think of it. Give me a rating. And uh, next week, I'm going to review the exotic heavy machine gun Thunderlord. So stay tuned for that.